Hello everyone. Namaskar. Let's solve this problem from uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So, looking at the problem, first thing always what we have to do is write this in terms of capital D. So, you know d by dx is uh, this d by ds is equivalent to d. So, this can now be reduced to d2 plus 1 Rating on y is sin 3x cos 2x. Next step is to write the auxiliary equation. For that, just replace this capital D which you are seeing by m. So, m square plus 1 and equate it to 0. So, from here you are getting m square is minus 1. So, m is plus minus iota. So, if I see the roots are First root I can write as 0 plus iota. Second root as I can write is 0 minus iota. So if I compare this with a plus iota b and a minus iota b, my a is 0 and my b is 1. So in this case when roots are imaginary, your uh, Complementary function is written as e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. So let's uh, move forward and write like that. So your complementary function is e power 0x c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. So, Cf complementary function will be simply C1 cos x plus C2 sin x. Moving forward to the particular integral which is nothing but 1 upon f of d function of d operating on the RHS. Okay. And RHS in this case is sin 3x cos 2x. So, uh, We'll have to do some adjustment. Let's first write what is your function of d, which is nothing but d square plus 1. And this is operating on sine 3x cos 2x. Because this is not a non form to us, there is no form of finding particular integral uh, like this, where we have product of sine and cos. So we'll have to change it uh, using some basic trigonometry. So I know this formula, although you, you know direct formula for sine a cos b, but let's let me derive it. It will take a few minutes. So sine a cos b is sine uh, sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And here you have sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So simply if I want sine cos combination to be there, simply add this. So you will get sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is equal to 2 times sin a cos b. So simply divide this by 2. This gives you sin a cos b. Now sometimes you forget this 2. Okay, so don't forget. So if you replace sin a cos b uh, in the problem, you have uh, sin 3x cos 2x. So a is 3x, b is 2x. So your problem will now reduce to 1 upon d square plus 1 sine of a plus b that means sine of 3x plus 2x which is sine of 5x plus sine of a minus b so 3x minus 2x is x and please don't, uh, don't forget to write this half so I am taking that half out. Now let's split it into two particular integrals uh, so 1 upon d square plus 1 and uh, you have sin 5x now what to do in case you have sin x or cos x you simply replace d square by minus of a square where a is coefficient of x so here a is so replace d square by minus 25. 
so this will be minus 25 plus 1 which is minus 24 because it is non-negative so we can move forward and this will be the final one for the first part for the second part as you can see coefficient of sine a uh, coefficient of x here is 1 and if you square 1 you will get 1 only if you add a negative sign to that so you will have to replace d square by minus 1 simply but if you do so your denominator becomes 0 so in case denominator becomes 0 we wait what we do we first multiply by x and that x is multiplied outside this operator okay outside just uh, at the place where 2 is there put that x and differentiate the denominator so derivative of with respect to d only so with respect to x basically because d is nothing but d by dx okay so d square derivative is 2d derivative of 1 is 0 and the sin x remains as it is so this is now minus 1 by 48 sin 5x and 1 by d uh, now because uh, sin x is there so in order to further solve either you need d square in denominator for that you can either uh, you can simply multiply by d in numerator in denominator okay so this will be something like this d by 2d square and sin x then d square you place by minus 1 so minus 1 by 2 and you will get something like this and derivative sin x is cos x so you will get minus 1 by 2 cos x and 1 x is there and uh, Okay, uh, one x is there. What else is there? Uh, one one more two is there. Okay, outside. So you can manage that. Okay, all this. But what I am doing is I am uh, doing the uh, going the other way around. This one by d is similar as integral. Okay. So if I use that idea, I can write this as x by two simply and uh, one more two comes out okay so this two comes out one by d is nothing but integrals sine x dx so i will be getting minus sine 5x by 48 plus x by 4 the integral of sine x uh, sine x is simply cos x so please don't negative of cos x please don't do a mistake here and if I simplify this, I can take minus sign common, I can take 1 by 4 common, I will get sin 5x by 12 plus x cos x by 1. Okay. Uh, in some textbook, you can see a further simplification of this. They have taken 1 by 12 out. Okay. So 1 by 48 and they have taken LCM. They have written it something like this. Okay, you can manage all these things. Finally, this was your uh, particular integral. Finally, y equals to cf plus pi. So y will be equal to c. cf is nothing but c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. And here comes your pi, which is minus 1 by 48 uh, sine 5x plus 12x cos x. That's it uh, from my side. Okay. So, okay, fine. So, this is your final answer y equals to c1 cos x plus c2 sine x minus 1 by 48 sine 5x plus 12x cos x. So, uh, I think it was easy for you just a bit lengthy but yes you know how to find your uh, auxiliary equation just replace d by m solve it you know how to find your complementary function e power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx you know how to find particular integral first you have to simplify it and then you have to break it into two parts then uh, if you have sin x or cos x replace d square by minus one uh, minus of a squared sorry and uh, if you are getting one by d somewhere it is same as integral if you are getting denominator as 0, multiply by 1x outside the operator and differentiate the denominator and again repeat the same. So uh, here you are, uh, final answer is right there in front of you. I, I hope you have no problem. If you are facing any problem, do comment. 
otherwise you can practice more and more problems so that you get confidence in this chapter i have already have a playlist named ordinary differential equation for this